welcome to Delivering with Ellen. Right now, I am in Henderson. I deliver Green Valley, Henderson, Las Vegas area. Today is Saturday, October 9th. Today would have been John Lennon's, for those Beatles fans out there, like myself, uh, 81st birthday. Um, so happy, happy birthday to John Lennon. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay. Let me, let me think. Okay, pickup. I'm gonna see if I need to go to the pickup. Here, okay. I thought it was orange. Oh. All right, so we're gonna see what we have to do. I don't know if I have to go inside, if they're gonna bring the groceries to me. It's Walmart, so it's packed. Okay, if there's gonna be a huge wait, I'm gonna cancel this. So I'm gonna see. Okay. All right, did you guys catch that? That's awesome. Okay, here we go. And four miles. Oh, that's a nice car, isn't it? Ooh, nice. Okay, cool. Um, I bet he was at the car show. Anyways, um, I am gonna remember to um after I pick up this order, I'm, should be dropping off at the first customer that I have customer. Let's see if we will get a I mean I guess it's just me, but let's see if there will be a higher tip because 650 uh, tends to sometimes be a higher mile, a higher pay, sorry, higher pay, but you know, we'll see. So, okay, let's go get the order. Okay, so let's, let's go over what happened. I, um, dropped off the first order that I have order, and by the way, there was not a hidden tip. So, anyways. Um, so I dropped it off and the apartment is 15105. That's the apart that's the unit number, right? So then I get you know, I I didn't screen record even though they had some really cute decorations in the front. Anyways, so I you know, I took a picture, sent them the picture, and you know, knocked I think I knocked on the door and I hear somebody opening the door and I saw and I yelled, Have a great day. And she says, hi. And I said, hello. <laughs> and she's like, do you have the right house? I was like, oh, let me see. So I, you know, I said 15105, 15105. I give her the, uh, the build, you know, the building, the complex number, 915. Yep, 915. I showed it to her and she's like, that's not me. Sometimes customers, kids order. So I give them, I give her the customer's name no, don't know that person. She's really nice and she's like, can you call him? And I'm like, yeah, I can. So um, I'm calling and hi, this is Ellen. I'm, you know, you're a DoorDash driver, click. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I call back, go, my, go through my spiel again. Um, click, <laughs> hangs up again. I'm like, what is going on here? So then I tell the customer, really nice lady, 
know, and we tell her, um, looks like you're getting free food. And she's like, gosh, I don't want to take anyone else's food. And I'm like, he's not, he's hanging up on me. So finally, customer calls and, um, yeah, customer calls and, you know, so I, I you know, I tell him I'm at 15105, but, you know, the, luckily your neighbor didn't just take the food because that's happened. <laughs> so he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's 12105. So I don't, so, okay. So, all right. So luckily 12 is just like right up, you know, two apartments, two comp, two uh, buildings over. So it was easy enough. Um, but, and he was waiting outside and you know, here's what I do. If it's waiting outside and they get the order, cause you never know. I always leave a detailed note. Thank you so much for meeting me at the door. You know, enjoy your food. Thank you for giving me the right apartment. Have a great day. So, uh, and that was it. And, but he was nice. He's a nice kid. He told me he um, lives in Cleveland and he's just visiting friends. So that's cool. But you never know if, I mean, but why would you do that? <laughs> why would you put the wrong apartment and say you didn't get the order and then not get your food too? So it was a mistake. So, um, but I'm uh, extremely late to the second customer's um, order. So I call up, I leave a message with her and you know, no response, but I just apologize. I'm sorry for the delay. Anyways, so whatever, drop it off and um, this guy was like kind of walking to the door and it looks like there were townhomes and I said is this it was like let's just say a part or it was like 1550 and he goes yeah this is it what's the name and I said Megan and he said yes so hopefully he didn't just say yeah that was his food and not anyway so I think it was fine but I went to go complete it and the app stalled the app's not working so I closed out of it went back in and um nothing so it's probably still sitting there on my um this is a long clip but whatever uh, on my queue uh but i can't i can't get in there it's just like a white screen so let me know if you guys are having any app uh, issues with story dash 2 maybe it's just me maybe it's just my phone but yeah i just see it gets interesting all right see you guys let's hope to get another order it's 215 so hit or miss here we go Picking up the last order of the night. I've been on it since 10 this morning. I'm losing my voice. About 10.30. It's 4.30 now, so 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 6 hours. Okay, I think you have to go, right? Um, is it your turn? Oh yeah, look at this guys. Let me turn the camera on.
I'm gonna call this a night. Um, I have to go back and see what I made. I might even try to add that at the end of my videos and kind of calculate everything up. But I worked six hours. I don't know what I got paid. You know, what I worked. I think I can go this way. But I'll, I'll see at the end. Um, it was kind of a little all over the place. Mostly just, you know, basically Henderson, Las Vegas, and a little bit of Green Valley. I'm gonna do a video, um, not today, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe after this, if my voice gets better, but um, about customers tip baiting. So, um, listen, last week was great. Last week I had some really awesome, amazing customers and, um, not only did they pay me what they said they were gonna pay me, some of them even increased it. Some of them even gave me cash tips. So you just, today, today, this last, today and yesterday, not so great with the customers, but it is what it is. Um, you just gotta keep moving and not let it get to you. So that's what we do as gig drivers. Some days are good and some days are bad and some weeks are good and some weeks are not so good. So, um, that's how the game goes. So anyways, um, I'm going to keep going. I don't mean like today, but I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to let that bring me down. I'm not going to let it stop me from, uh, because overall there are really good and very decent customers who do appreciate what you do. Um, and the ones that don't, well, there's, there's karma. So um, you guys, thanks for watching, and um, I will see you in the next the next video, and I hope you have a great day.